going on YouTube, man? It's your boy, Jay Cinco, and I'm back in another video. My fault. Lola's crying. <laughs> what you got to say? I told you that was going to happen. Lola crying right now. Mm -hmm. She was out. We just put, I put her in the cage so I don't have to leave her in the living room by herself. Because she be knocking shit over. Lola, just chill, bro. Just chill. But what's going on, YouTube, man? It's your boy, J.C., and I'm back in the video, man. My fault, y'all. I just woke up from a nap. I was sleeping. Hey, stop. But I just woke up from a nap. Um, you feel me? Um, what I was saying? But, yeah. So, if y'all haven't, you feel me, um, watch Brooklyn's last video of um, her going apartment shopping. But I was just, I was just with her. So I was recording for her and stuff, you feel me? So, um, but I know a lot of y'all was like, you know how it confused and stuff, you feel me? We had one live like a couple of days ago. Oh, she don't start y'all. Um, we had one live a couple of days ago, you feel me? And just was talking. But, um, yeah, we just, I just, well, me, well, we both felt like it'd just be right just to come to the, um, just because this is our life and stuff, like we always say, it's mm -hmm. our life, so. You know, we want to come to the internet and um, just address what's going on just because, you feel me, we got a lot of people that do care and are wondering. So, um, yeah, um, damn. I feel like me talking was going to be good. I don't even know what to say. <laughs> do you want to talk a little bit, too? Yeah, of course. You can oh, talk. Okay. I was just saying I could leave, but go ahead, yeah. But, yeah, um, me and all of them. No, you gotta talk. <laughs> I don't know what to say too. But um, yeah, y'all, um, I wanna address a couple of things first, just because, you know, at the end of the day we always gonna have you always like I feel like it comes with everything, you always gonna have negative comments and have positive you know, it's always gonna be fifty fifty, sometimes it's seven seventy, thirty, you feel me? Um, but I we all in, in we I mean we both understand we're gonna have negative comments regardless. But right. um this is a, like we don't pay attention to y'all though, but um, for the people like that, you know, our supporters, our actual supporters, you feel me? Um, after like, you feel me? Cause I feel like after a while, just just I'm speaking for me right now. Um, you feel me? Um, I was doing a lot of content. I feel like I was, I feel like I was chasing, I was chasing, um, just being a hundred. I was chasing like money. You feel me? I was chasing money. I was chasing. Views. I was chasing. I was chasing certain things that I shouldn't have been chasing. You feel me? I had to, and 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 I was trying to kind of like I don't know. I feel like I was letting the internet rush me. You feel me saying? Or I was letting the internet kind of um, tell me what to do. You feel me saying? Instead of thinking for myself and what actually makes me happy. You feel me? Whether that can be if I went back to Brooklyn for a hundred times. If that's what makes me happy. That's what I'm gonna do, you feel me? I don't live my life for y'all, I live my life for me. It's just, I broadcast it to y'all, you feel me? So, um, at the end of the day, I'm gonna do what I wanna do regardless, whether y'all support it or you don't support it. If you don't support it, I appreciate you. Fuck supporting me to a certain extent, it's cool, you feel me? I'm, I'm just living my life, I'm trying to make myself happy. I'm not trying to um, live for anybody else, you feel what I'm saying? Cause at the end of the day, I'm the one that has to go home after all the cameras are off. I'm the one that has to deal with what I deal with, you feel what I'm saying? Um, you know, the girl videos, the girl the videos y'all want me to do or certain people want me to do, um, it's cool, I guess, but it's like, at the end of the day, like I said, when them cameras turn off, when them cameras cut off, I have to go home and I have to, you feel me, um, deal with what I have to do with, you know, the real life, real life, so, um, I just wanted to kind of come on here and say that, you feel me, um, out my mouth, because I see a lot of comments saying that, um, it's like, oh, He's over her, or it'd be some, it'd be some comments saying, "Oh, um, at, like, cause I had posted the blind date, mind you, y'all. Me and Brooklyn already was speaking before I did the blind date. I was talking to her while I did the blind date. You feel what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. it was just a content thing. It wasn't nothing crazy. You feel what I'm saying? So um, I don't want y'all thinking like, oh, when he does it, all of a sudden when he drops a blind date, she's back and shit. It's like, bro, yeah. it's not even that, bro. You feel what I'm saying? It, it's been a long process. You feel me? We been broken up since last June, you feel what I'm saying? Like last June, and you feel me? Um, and I, and I want to apologize for both of us just because of the way we've handled things in the past. You feel me? Like even with the 
breaking up, even with the re- most recent and shit, you feel what I'm saying, with the yeah. little blind date shit, you feel me, just off of the way, I feel like I, I should have been better and not even have brought my feelings to the internet, you feel what I'm saying, I should have handled them off, so I apologize for that, you feel me, niggas not trying to keep going through that, even if like right now, if we don't end up working, I'd rather just keep it off the net and just make it seem like, damn, what, you know, it could be on some like, well, damn, what happened to them, you feel me, like on some just out of nowhere without an exact answer, you feel what I'm saying, right. um, but, yeah, I just wanted to kind of get those things, like, out, because I don't want y'all, like, perceiving her to be a certain way or perceiving me to be a certain way, you feel me? We both are human, we both, you feel me, are young, we trying to figure things out still, uh, you feel me? So, we we, we kind of like, I think that, bro, we like everybody else, bro. We yeah. like everyone else. I feel like a lot of people don't realize that, though. Yeah, like, like a lot of y'all go back. Yeah, like, since we're in the light or the YouTube light or... How do you want to say, like, influencers, they think we're supposed to be different or aliens Yeah, like, make the, y'all want us to make the right, the best. Like, y'all want us to make decisions that a lot of you guys are scared to make. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel right. like, um, like, not, not everybody, though, but some people want us to make the decision. Like, I don't know. I don't, I don't get it sometimes. Like, it's like, bro, like, it's like telling me to do something, but you will, I'm pretty sure a lot of people don't even do it. You know what I'm saying? It's like. You don't even move on. It's not easy to just move on from X. Like, and and a lot of people think, oh, this is what's better for you. You don't know what's best for me. For me, I know what's best for me. You feel what I'm saying? Like, I'm the one that lives this everyday life. Like I once said, you guys just see aiming and clips. You feel me? So, um, yeah. But definitely, definitely, um, me personally, I, I definitely need the time that you feel me from our last. You know, from December, just us talk. We were talking, but I felt like. I felt like everything was good December. Um, everything was good December, but we had, you know, we fell out. You feel what I'm saying? Um, we fell out and stuff. Now, I don't really want to call it a fallout, but we kind of just, you know, like stopped communicating after a certain situation. And then, um, But I definitely feel like that time from that, it definitely, like, helped me. It helped me gain, like, confidence in myself. It definitely helped me, like, be more loyal to who I am, you feel me, as a person. And it, and it let me let me take that that time to myself to just just understand myself better and, and and you know make better decisions. But at a point, I was I was like falling into the wrong crowd as far as like action wise, like doing the wrong thing, like smoking every day, and and you know I started drinking, going to the clubs, and living this life that I thought was cool. You feel what I'm saying? Living this life that I thought was was me. You know, and in reality, it wasn't me. It was the me from two, three years ago, you feel me, the Compton me. But like I said, like, I kind of, like, Brooklyn kind of, like, changed my whole mindset as far as if I'm in a relationship, I'm, you feel me, I want to, I'm not, I'm not trying to, you know, I don't want to waste my time. Like, I want, I'm a relationship type of person, you feel me? So um, just go, just trying to be in the club life and just, you know, it's cool for that moment, you know what I'm saying? But it's like, bro, I'm spending money going to the club. I'm doing all these things. I'm, I'm hanging with these people, but it's like, ultimately, when I go home, I'm not happy. You feel me? When I go home, you know, I be thinking about, I think about Brooklyn. I think about, you feel me? I think about all that stuff. You feel me? And, um, and it gets pretty depressing. You feel me? And I be trying to be strong, cause I be like I said, I let the internet in my head, like, oh, the internet saying this is better for me. So let me not even, let me not text her. Let me not. But those are good things that, those are good things that you needed to learn. I feel like. Because it's like, you know, you just turned 21 and stuff. Like, being a man, men go through things. Like, I'm pretty sure a lot of men go through what you went through. Yeah, it's you know? kind of that age. Yeah, like a confusing stage, you know. But it's like a lot of men um, substitute it with something. Like, how you substitute it with weed. Yeah. How you substitute it by going to the clubs. Yeah. You know, maybe, you know, doing other things. And it's like... That doesn't help, you know. You have to be, you have to want it. You have to want change, and if you want change, it can literally start tomorrow. You know, that's what, yesterday I was telling him like, reflect on your day. Like, how do you, how do you, how's your day? What do you think you could do different? And he said time management. But the next day, <laughs> you know, just things like that. So tomorrow you can change those things. You know, it all starts within. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah, so I just you feel me. I just thought these these things were cool, y'all, and 
And I want to just be, you feel me, a voice for a lot of men. You feel me? It's like, bro, if you, like, I always tell my homie, like, even to yo, bro, like, if you're not happy, bro, do what makes you happy, bro. Because it's like, you don't have long on this earth, bro. Just do what makes you happy. You feel me? Um, if it ain't that serious or if it's not that big of a situation, just, you know, talk it out and see where it goes, you know? Right. And Brooklyn, Brooklyn, like, she healed and stuff. She took the healing route more serious than I did. I, I kind of, like like I said, like substituted it with other things. So I was not really healing. I wasn't really focused on healing for real. I was I was healing, but then I was, like, putting myself steps back from substituting, you know, and stuff. Um, so she, she kind of had a... She had like a stronger mindset than me. So when we got back in contact, it was like, you know, she was more like, she was allowing me to even like continue to do what I'm doing, like going to the club. She allowed me as far as like, like she didn't like nag me about it. She didn't call my phone tripping on me, like, oh, you at the club? Like, oh, even though we not together or even speaking on that type of level, it's like, she still wasn't doing that. You feel me? Like, she just kind of like, let me bump my head and let me figure it out. If you know, it was kind of like a <clears throat> being a hundred, being like actually like being really honest. She was actually waiting for me. You feel me? She actually told me on her mouth, like, you know, I'll wait for you. You feel me? Like, if but I told her, I'm gonna be very trans. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna just tell her. But I was, I told her, like, um, I told her, like, nah, don't wait for me because. I don't want you to, cause I'm, I'm, mind you, I'm still trying to figure out what's best for me. You feel what I'm saying? I'm trying to see, maybe, maybe somebody else is best for me. You never know. You feel me? I was like, you feel me? That's what was going on in my mind. Like maybe it's just the end of our chapter. You feel me? And I feel like it was trying to experience. Yeah, and, and then you know, new people. Yeah, just know. new things. Yeah, and you know, Brooklyn was just telling me like, you know, like she'll wait for me. Even if like, well, I'm like, man, don't wait for me, cause. I don't even want to stream. I don't even want to lead you on, or I don't even want to be talking to you, or you for me. Have you wait for me, and delay your process for me? Uh, <coughs> and I don't end up choosing you. You feel what I'm saying? So it's like it was one of those. Like it was very serious. It was a very confusing, hard time, you know. And and you know, I I swear to God, y'all, we was really not speaking like, no. like really, bro. Even when we, we went with my mom to this church thing like a week ago, and we didn't speak the whole first. When I picked her up, I picked her up to take her to my mom. I wasn't even going to go. I'm, when I mean this was serious, y'all, this was serious. I wasn't even going to go because I didn't want to put myself in a position I didn't want to be in. You feel what I'm saying? Because I was trying to figure out what was best for me. You feel me? So, mm -hmm. But I ended up, I was like, my mom was, you know, she was really, she really wanted to go to this with us. So um, I went and picked Brooklyn up, took her to my mom's house, and we Stay left. back. Yeah, she sat in the back. She it was front seat was open. She really went to the back seat, had headphones on. I'm listening to music. Drove out to um, San Diego with my mom, and we didn't speak the whole night, like literally the whole night. And um, then the next day when we was at the church thing. You know, we spoke and then we just kept speaking, and it was cool. Like, it was it was it was perfect. like yeah, like, we didn't kiss no none of that. Like, it was really just you <laughs> feel what I'm saying. And then after that, um, we kind of just talked on the way home. When I drove her back home. And we were just talking about life in it. And it just kind of like, and then I just gave it a few days. I gave it a few days. We were speaking after that, like two days, three days. I gave it a few days and. You texted me on Valentine's Day. Yeah, I texted Happy Valentine's Day. She didn't reply. No, she put up a hand brand hand emoji. No, no, I'm tripping. <coughs> that was after Valentine's Day. Yeah, you texted me on the next day. Yeah. But, um, yeah, like I seen this TikTok. It was just saying like. The woman, the woman that guy sent you was gonna push you closer to him. You feel me? And just and, it, and it's like a lot of things. It was like, bro, like I was just picking little things that Brooklyn would do, and I was just like, bro, like, like what, like you know? And it was kind of a point, like, and I had a lot of people in my ear too. So it was like, at a point, it just came like, what do I want? Like, I'm like, this is what I want, bro. Like, you feel me? This is what I want. Um, I kind of denied it for a while, but. In reality, yeah, I, I truly like I tell Brooklyn, like I truly I truly feel like Brooklyn is my person, you feel what I'm saying? Like I truly feel that in my heart, you feel me? And she told me the same thing. Um, she said, you know, when she sees our future is really clear. And I was just like, you know, I, I kind of I really just felt that cuz we will always talk about our futures and we will always talk about what type of household we will have. You know what like you know just it just it is it is very clear, you feel me? Yeah. 
I'm sorry I say you feel me a lot because I'm I seen a comment about that. <laughs> but I just I just always say I gotta get better at it. But um, you just want people to feel you. Yeah, you feel me like literally. But um, yeah, I, I just I just kind of was. I feel like it was just it's a lot of temptation, you know, trying to push me away from what I really wanted. And I feel like even with temptation, once you give into a temptation, you'll never get enough. You know what I'm saying? You always want better and better and better and better. You know, and it, and it's like, and it's safe to say, like, even me, I'm not the best looking guy. You know what I'm saying? And and I accept that, but I am who I am. You feel me? That personality keeps people. You feel me? So I just, and with Brooklyn, I just fell in love with her personality from, from the jump. You feel me? I, I just... I always say this though. Like I look at Brooklyn like, you know, like my baby, man. You know what I'm saying? Like you know the way I the way I the treat the way I treat her, the way the way I um hold her, the way with everything, my mannerisms, everything, you know. Very and, gentle. Yeah. Very gentle. So with that being said, I just wanted to let y'all know, um, like right now, me and Brooklyn are definitely talking. We are seeing where things are going like where things can go. Um I I will we were gonna take it slow but it's not like I'm my first time meeting her, you know what I'm saying? We've been together for almost two years and broke up. And, uh, and, and you know, and I feel like if we were to take it slow, I feel like I would be just, I feel like I would be just like, I don't know. I feel like I wouldn't be 100% in, you feel me? And and I don't want to be that. I want to I wanna really see where this can go. So I'm going to be 100% in. I'm going to be, we know we're both going to be 100% in right. um, just to see where it goes. And if it doesn't end up working out, then it doesn't end up working out. At least we, at least we fully tried, and right. and you know we gave it time, we gave everything it needed, you know, for that perfect relationship. So we're just trying to see where that's gonna go. Um, and if it does, then you know, you know, God bless us in our relationship, you know. And we've definitely been keeping God in the, in the middle of it. It's probably the most, mm-hmm. probably the most we've kept God in our relationship for real. Like literally, like she was looking for the problem. We literally was in the gym together. Praying like it was like man, yeah. it was no problem. Like usually, sometimes I wouldn't even want to pray. Like not want to pray, but like I would kind of be around like, people. yeah, like around yeah. people. But it was like nah, like you know, yeah, just like living in your truth. You know what I'm saying? So we've been going. We went to the gym yesterday and today. We we gonna go consi- like consistently every day. You know, we we definitely practicing some ha- healthy habits. Um, yeah, we, yeah. So communication. I feel like we've been doing good on that. Yeah, you know, we haven't argued or nothing. It's been chill. It's been really yeah. chill vibes, and and I've been wanting to do a lot. You feel me? Like I've never been wanting to do a lot. Like I literally was telling Brooklyn, like, oh, tomorrow let's go. Like today we finna go to the movies. We finna go to the movies today. I'm talking about tomorrow. We could. What we gonna say tomorrow? Dinner. Yeah, I think. So. <coughs> yeah, dinner tomorrow. Yeah, dinner tomorrow. Yeah, and I want to drive to Vegas so we can eat some, try some seafood. Like just a lot of things, yeah. I'm, and biking. Oh and yeah, biking hiking. at the beach and hiking. Yeah, I never trail. did both of those. Yeah, me neither. Well, really? my mom biking, but it's bad. We can go. Oh, and then we take tomorrow. We got this thing with my mom. We're gonna do like this thing with colors. Oh yeah. Yeah, we're gonna do this. Uh, you know, and they be like, "Hey, I'm the auntie. <laughs> I'm wearing. I, I'm blue." And then they bring like blue stuff. So we got pink. So we yeah. gotta bring pink stuff. So comment down below some pink stuff because we don't know what. Yeah. It's like just sweet stuff. Pink That's foods. Pink. Yeah. Unless we drink, bring like dragon fruit, that's pink. Yeah, but who drinks dragon fruit? I don't know. Yeah, me either. Uh, but we, we can bring some like some pink cupcakes. Oh, some cupcakes. Mm. Some another the white cupcake, but they got the pink, pink frosting. Right. Yeah. And we can find some other pink stuff. Yeah. But um, yeah, yeah. I just want to be honey with y'all. Yeah, I'm tired. Of, I don't even want to just fake it with y'all. We want to just be honest, you know, because yeah. at least at the end of the day, if anything happens, at least we're honest. You know, we're not living a lie to nobody, you know, because at the end of the day, it's our life. Um, whether a person accepts it or don't accept it, you know, and nobody finna be doing no goddamn crying. I be seeing y'all be trying to get on me, saying, don't be crying. Man, I'm not crying, bro. I'm y'all just think, I'm, they just think I just treat you so. No, nah, it just, I just, I just, I just, I just like, <laughs> had bad fan. You know, I got bad. Like, I don't I'm not gonna say. It. Okay, so this would be transparent in this oh. video. I would say I can say, in our past relationship, I was very mean. I was very controlling. He couldn't look at girls. He couldn't. He couldn't do anything. Like, literally, he was stepping on eggshells to be with me. Basically, um, I was very dark. Like, very just would get mad at every little thing 
you know, so he would be scared to even say certain things, you know, or maybe, you know, tell me the truth about certain things because of how I reacted. And I used to be like, oh, you're a liar, you're a liar, you're a liar. But now that I reflected on our relationship, it's like sometimes it's best to, like, not, it's not good to lie. Don't lie. <laughs> but I'm saying, All right. I'm, I'm saying like I I would see why he would lie sometimes because he wouldn't want to deal with my reaction and I was crazy like not too crazy no so she was just crazy she was kind of uh, yeah I wasn't too crazy but like no, I know like go over like I like some Christian I like shit yeah no no no, no. but it, I was very toxic like you know I would get mad not talk be mean like you know yeah. all that so. But Brooklyn has definitely grown, you feel me? And I and I and I feel like she's definitely motivation for me to to get better, you feel me? Because I just look at her and just and she just hand, the way she handles things and and how strong she is. Even when I told her like you know don't wait on me, it was just the way she you know it's just certain things you just you just admire, you know what I'm saying? And and it just drove me closer to her, you feel what I'm saying? Because I I want a happy home. I want you know I want a happy life, you know what I'm saying? And Brooklyn is just oh it's gonna die. Mm -hmm. Fuck y'all niggas. But yeah, but yeah, I love I love her. You know what I'm saying? So. I love you too. Thank you. She wanna but, kiss, you wanna kiss me or something? <laughs> yeah, no, but okay. Before this camera dies, I hope I can say this. But I feel like in our singleness, we both learned a lot, and we both <coughs> experienced certain things that we know. Even if this doesn't work out, whatever we know what we would want mm. you know so it's like that's how i look at it like that's i feel like we needed that we, we really did need that you know and i feel like it's made us stronger because you know i've changed some certain ways and yeah. he's changed certain ways so it's like and also we grew up together so yeah nice no, facts though and she just watched she watched me go through so much too like brooklyn just understands me bro like I don't feel like they, I don't feel like another person could really understand me though. Like, can't nobody understand me. You feel me? And be there the way she's there for me. You feel me? It's just, it's definitely a different feeling. You know, she like I could be sick in Brooklyn and just like just without saying the words. It's it just like she do everything for me. You feel me? Just, just she's had, she, she, she like I said, she's also delicate with me too. You know, and it's it like just a mom. yeah, you got like a mom love. Yeah. But that you know that's what they say about wives. You know. Mom, really? yeah, hmm. like you know, she takes. What she says, she love you like your, like your mom, or something like that. I never heard that. Yeah, like a real wife loves you like a mom. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. That's facts. Yeah, that's facts. But yeah, yeah. Um, we don't want to talk your goddamn ears off. <laughs> you feel me? But um, yeah. I just, I just want to. I just this year, for like more positivity. You know what I'm saying? Um, we, we, you know, I. Like if this works out, I want to definitely be like a like a like a top healthy couple. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like really out here putting on though. You know, and I and I want to say this to all the guys, bro. Like don't let your friends or or people in your ear, bro. At the end of the day, you have to make your decisions for yourself, bro. You feel what I'm saying? I understand you may overthink. Don't overthink, bro. Just do. You know what I'm saying? Just do and be a hundred percent in. That goes with anything. You know, anything in life. Just be a hundred percent in it. And at least if it fails, you gave it your all.